Question 4 says a small sphere of charge Q1 equals 0.808 microcoulombs hangs from the end of a spring, as in figure A, when another small sphere of charge Q2 equals negative 0.612 microcoulombs is held beneath the first sphere, as in figure B, the spring stretches by 3.78 centimeters from its original length and reaches a new equilibrium position with the separation between the charges of 5.15 centimeters. What is the force constant of the spring? So this is just using uh, the forces of, of a charge, so FQ, to determine uh, Hooke's law. So if you remember Hooke's law, Hooke's law, it said that the force of a spring is equal to negative K, lowercase k, times delta X. We're also using a little bit of Newton's second law because we were in equilibrium, so when the it says that it comes to a new equilibrium, that's a key word, because in equilibrium the sum of the forces is equal to zero. And if we had rotation then the sum of the torques would also be equal to zero. So the sum of the forces is this, the force of this charge plus the force of the spring, and it's all equal to zero. Now we're seeing that the, the, the force of the charge plus the force of the spring is equal to zero, so that means that the force of the spring is equal to negative the force of the charge. Now the force of the spring, let's substitute in the equations, force of the spring is negative lowercase k delta x, and that's equal to capital K q1 q2 over r squared. Now the question asks, what is the force constant of the spring? So the lowercase k is our force constant. We'll just solve force constant. And remember, this is a negative, so I'm going to drop my negative sign. If I get rid of the negatives, the negatives are going to cancel out, then I get that K delta X, delta X is equal to uh, capital K Q1 Q2 over R squared, and so I can divide by delta X and find my force constant, so I get K is equal to capital K Q1 Q2 over delta X times R squared. Now to plug in, you get that the capital K is equal to 8, 8.99 8.99 times 10 to the 9th. Uh, Q1, Q1 it says is uh, 0 0.808 microcoulombs, so 0 0.808 times 10 to the negative 6th coulombs. Q2 is equal to 0 0.612 times 10 to the negative 6th coulombs. And R is equal to 5.15 centimeters or 0 0.0515 meters and delta X is equal to 0 0.0378 meters. Now the only thing you have to be careful of and, and if you get in a hurry you're gonna go ahead and plug in 0 .30, uh, 0 0.0378 meters here and you're gonna plug in 0 0.0515 here and if you get in too much of a hurry, you're going to forget to square your 0.515, or you may accidentally square the delta x, which doesn't need to be squared. So you just plug all that in, and you get that the, uh, the force constant of the spring, which is equal to 44.34 newtons per meter.